platform almost 17 stories high. Bruce Bocci, defending champion, is going through his own form of mental preparation. Let's try to get a quick word with him. Bruce, your mic is open. This is Kenny Sitzberger down at poolside along with Diana Nyatt. How do you feel, buddy? Pretty good. I'm ready. All I have to do is execute the same dive I had from 130. I think I'll be there. You, still, you look a lot more confident than you did at 130 even. Right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I feel great. I'm, I'm loosened up. The only thing I don't really like is the ladder. It's pretty shaky up here. Is it shaky? It's very shaky. Last year, we had a very solid ladder. I'm just going to try to keep it out of my mind, but... All right, well, we won't keep you. I don't want to interrupt your concentration. You it's got okay. one dive to do. You got to defend your title. Good luck. Thank you. He is a gutsy diver. You got to give him credit. He came in here last year, and he had never competed in the high dive challenge before. He went up. The first competitor drilled his dive, and three or four guys dropped out of the competition right away. There's his mother, Joyce, looking straight up at him. It's something you just don't need to worry about, having the ladder a little bit uh, shaky and wavering up there, Ken. Yeah, that really surprised me because all the other divers I talked to commented on how stable this ladder really is. But, of course, that was before they moved up to the world record level of 172 feet. Well, Bruce had said before that he was quivering at the 130-foot level, and he just may be a little nervous up there. Well, you can't really blame him. The water is awfully cold. And don't forget, it is salt water. He seems to get ready and then fall back and then get ready and fall back. You've got to face your moment of truth up there, and if you're not ready, there's no shame in waiting. Only 20 years of age, but he is the world record holder. Good jump. Nice solid. He looks like he knows exactly where he is. Punch the, oh, he landed way short. He looks like the shadows might have misjudged. I think he's all right. He did a nice dive. He took a shot in the chest. He'll be sore tomorrow, but nothing serious. He did come over on his chest. You think he might have got the wind knocked out of him a little bit. Oh, he looks good, though. Okay, we'll see what he did here. Nice jump. He's really, really confident for 172 feet. He's got a good beat. He's got his eyes riveted right on his target. But somewhere he passed through the acceleration point and lost it for a split second. And Bruce Bocci becomes the third man ever to successfully dive from 172 feet. Took a shot in the chest, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Ladder was really shaky up there, and uh, that's why it took so long. I just every time I, every time I got set, my legs would start shaking. And when I finally took off, I got the right jump, the jump I oh, wanted. The jump was great. And then I tucked and kicked out, and was it the shadows or the uh, the fact that the sun's going? Yeah, I it's just the speed also, but speed. I just didn't kick on it. I didn't keep hold the tuck long enough and kick on it. Kick back a little short of it, but I hit the water. I took a face shot. My face is wrong up a little bit, but well, my, let me give you. Right, I'm okay. Let me give you the good news. You're in first place. Well, it's a long way to go. I hope I can take it, but if not, I'm still a winner because I'm healthy. You bet. Nice and going. I'm a world record holder. Good enough. Nice going. Thank you. There are three divers remaining with the chance.